a break where we were going, but I'm just going to uh, answer a very interesting question that was asked in Siman Reshnun Gimel. We're talking about Shehiya. Shehiya means that if I'm going to leave something on a live fire, remember that leaving something on a plata, the plata hashmalit, right, the hot plate is considered, right, the ones which are for Shabbat, which means that it doesn't have a dial to put it stronger or less uh, potent. Basically, those are considered already garufe katun. Garufe katun means that it's covered, that I'm not going to play around with it, which means you take a plata hashmalit, you cannot come, it's either you plug it in or you plug it out, but there's no such thing as picking up the temperature, down the temperature. Obviously, if you're going to buy one in one, a regular store and it's not the regular plata of Shabbat, then you can. And then obviously, it would come into the regular alachot of putting it on a live fire. But we're going to explain as follows. To do with whether you're allowed to come and leave something on a live fire before Shabbat or not, we have to understand as followings. There's two different alachot on Shabbat. There's alachot of Bishul, which is cooking, and then there's the, the alachot of Sheme Yechateh. Sheme Yechateh means maybe I'm going to come and I'm going to stoke the fire. I'm going to pick it up in order that it should pick up the speed of the cooking. Now remember, Jews were always in food. And therefore, since we're always involved in food, what happens is we might just come and say, ah, right, the chamin, the dafines, uh, we have to, we pick it up. And that's not even a We're not talking about b'mezid, somebody's going to come and purposely come and start cooking on Shabbat or picking up the flames. But it might just be that a person without realizing will come and he'll do this. So now we're going to bring down the two regular alachot and then we'll bring down another exception to the rule. The regular, the, the machloket is, what can I leave on the fire, on a live flame? Now this could be on a, on a gas stove, this could be in an oven, this could be anywhere else, on a crock pot, it could be anywhere that I'm coming, what am I allowed to leave on a live flame? There's a machloket between Hananya and Chachamim. Hananya says that as long as it was Ma'achal ben Drusai, as long as it's going to be Ma'achal ben Drusai, I'm allowed to come and I'm allowed to leave it on a live flame, right? And according to the Shita of the Chachamim, it has to be uh, fully cooked. Now, the question is like this. What does this mean exactly, right, when it's going to be this Machloket? Maran, even though he brings it down as a Stam V'yesh, all, even the Sfaradim will come, and not only just the Ramah says that we go like Hananya, even Sfaradim we go like Hananya, which means since we are going like Hananya, as long as it's going to be Ma'achal ben Drusai, you're allowed to leave it on a live fire. What exactly is going to be Ma'achal ben Drusai. So we know that there's actually going to be a machloket to do with Ma'achal ben Drusai. We go that it has to be half cooked, right? Which is going to be the shita in of Maran and Siman Reshnun Dalet. The reason why is because Siman Reshnun Dalet, Maran brings down what exactly is considered Ma'achal ben Drusai. It's a machloket between uh, the Rambam and Rashi. We know in Inchot Bishulakum we are lenient. And the reason why we are lenient in Bishulakum that it's going to be a third cooked is because it's the Rabbanan. However, once we're talking about that it's going to be in the Alachot of Shabbat, they're more restringent, so therefore it has to be half-cooked. Now, when we're talking about the entire concept of once it's half-cooked, I'm not going to suspect that you're going to come and stoke the flames. That's just the introduction. Now we're going to the, uh, another interesting Alacha, which is the exception to the rule. Can I come two minutes before, not two minutes, let's say ten minutes before Shabbat, and I'm going to put something on a live fire, the Chamin. Can I do that? So that's what's called Kedera Chaita. Kedera Chaita means a pot which is alive, which means raw. What does it mean raw? Raw means that why in the world am I going to come and stoke the fire? Even if I come and I stoke the fire, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to be ready for the night time. So therefore, says the Lacha in Shulchan Ruch, you're allowed to. Not only is Kedera Chaita permitted, Kedera Chaita is permitted, even if you're going to take a piece of meat and you're going to put it inside, the entire pot becomes raw. Now, the Alachabura does bring down in the Mishabura as well what happens if we're putting vegetables, raw vegetables, right? And some people are lenient, some people are stringent. It's better to be stringent, right? But the Alacha is what about nowadays? Why? If I'm going to come and I'm going to put a pot on the live fire, maybe in the olden days it would take a very, very long time. And therefore, what's going to happen is it's going to be a problem, right? What does it mean? To, sorry, not a problem. It's not going to be a problem. Why? Because once I know that it's going to take a long time, that even if I'm going to stoke it, it's not going to be ready. So if I forget about it, I know this chameen is for Shabbat morning. It's not for Friday night. We're not in a yeshiva where they start eating children on Friday night. So therefore, what happens? So therefore, it's going to be permitted. But what about nowadays? So there's a machlok at the post scheme nowadays. Are you allowed to rely upon Kedir Haita or not? Which means, can I come and put something raw a few minutes before Shabbat or not? 
according to some shitot, no, why? Because it's going to be ready for, by the night time. And therefore, if you could eat it by the night time, I come and I suspect you're going to stoke it. And therefore, it's going to become a problem. But if it's going to be that it's not going to be ready, for sure, there's no problem, even according to the shita. Other shitot hold, no. He says, even if it could be ready by the night time, if right now I'm going to use this food for Shabbat morning, I could be lenient. So now, if you just come and place it back into the different halachot, a crock pot. When you're going to put something raw in a crock pot and you're putting it on low, for sure it's not going to be ready in the night time. And therefore, what happens is, is that no problem whatsoever, you could put it raw a few minutes before Shabbat. Obviously, don't be Michal Shabbat. That's why I said a few minutes before Shabbat. Which means that what's going to happen is, it's going to be uh, raw. And then what happens is, is that you have no problem. That's going to be in a crock pot. If it's going to be in a live fire, one more time, according to the shitot, that as long as it's going to be used for the Shabbat morning, so there's no problem. Even though technically speaking, it could be ready for the nighttime. According to the other shitot, now you have a problem. But it depends what you're putting it in. Some people will come and they'll put it in a Shabbat mode oven. If you're going to put in a Shabbat mode oven, which means that you cannot come and put up and down the temperatures, it's like a pata hashamalit, which means it's like a hot plate. It's not the same as a hot plate to return inside of it, but it's the same as a hot plate to leave it inside of it. So therefore, if you're going to put it on Shabbat mode, and then you just come and you leave the food there, and it's just continuing co- cooking the entire night, right? As long as you know that anyway, it's not going to be ready by the night time, right? Which means that right now you want to come and eat. It's not going to be ready. Maybe it might be ready at 6, 7 in the morning, but anyway, that's already morning. That's already when you could, uh, after nets, you go home and you have your chameen. There's no problem. So therefore, what happens is you're allowed to, without any problem, to leave your food inside. Of there. So this is just very important halachot to do with leaving something uh, raw right before Shabbat inside, whether it's going to be an oven, a crock pot, or a live flame. So we already just brought down the different shitot. Again, if it's going to be like Hananya, which means it's going to be half cooked for sure, there's no problem, right? But that's even according to Sfaradim. But if, and if you're going to cover, whether it's going to be the knobs or cover the things, so then it's considered Garufa Katum. Once it's Garufa Katum, which means the flame is covered, so then you're allowed to come and leave it there without any problem as well.